Hey there, my listeners. It is your host here. It is Team Rara here. Listeners, how you doing? And this sizzling Sorry, I'm doing very well. It is a very nice and hot day outside. That's why I say sizzling. But anyway, let me do my introduction. And then we'll get this bad boy started. I'm going to discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics. And a lot of interesting topics I'd love to discuss with you. So sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab something to eat, grab something to drink. Now if you don't want to do that, maybe you just want to chill like a villain and listen to my thoughts on this matter. And don't worry, the article will be down below. Here goes nothing. Now W is is going to sign another wrestler. And he's going to be shipped to NXT for a while. And then whenever he's ready, scratch that, whenever Triple H tells him, to go to main roster Raw or SmackDown Live, or it might be a reverse, maybe he might debut on SmackDown Live first for a few months or maybe even longer, and then after that, go to Raw. So I think, in my opinion, NXT is getting bigger and bigger with the roster, you know? Because the guys they have now are going to the main roster, then the guys are going to debut on NXT, going to have some matches and moments and championship um, around the waist and other stuff. That's how it usually works. Because NXT is, uh, in my my opinion, my opinion only, a third brand. Okay? Actually, they don't call it a third brand. It's like um, getting ready to go to the main roster, Raw or SmackDown. Now, some guys who, who jumped from NXT to Raw or SmackDown is a huge disappointment a fail and other stuff. All the people are very successful. Like Sami Zayn, KO and well Sami Zayn is not really successful not yet because W is not really pushing them in the right direction. He's in these stupid uh feuds like Bobby Lashley and now he's out for the rest of twenty eighteen. That sucks. Sami Zayn have a spin recovery but anyway, I'll put the article down below. Now, what's your thoughts on this article? Are you guys pumped up for this news or not? Are you guys getting excited or not? That's what I'm trying to say. So, I love when, how WWE signed new talent. In my opinion, because the talent we have is awesome. Some of it is good. Some of them is not that good. Now, I think the reason WWE wants to sign new talent, young talent, because... Taker is getting older. I know this is a very touchy subject. He's he's not for, um, first superstar. Y2J is not getting younger. John Cena is not getting younger. The guys you grew up with, they get older. John, I'm sorry. Triple H is part of the C. He's part of he's part of the B, but not a full time wrestler anymore. And then Brock, most likely he's gonna be out, on his way out, hopefully. And W has got start young. In my opinion, W should have done this years ago with make new stars. I know you're going to say there's no big stars out there. You know, in, N- 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 sorry, in NXT there are, but in W, Raw and SmackDown, not major stars, only some of them. Anyway, like, subscribe, leave a comment, put the air code, hit the subscribe, hit the notification, and that wraps up. See you guys next edition.